Hello and welcome back to the Master League on Pro Evolution Soccer 2019 Aston Villa Champions League. It's all kicking off. We've had some games in between. A uh, bit of a mixed bag, really. We have we beat PSG 4-3 before in the Park de Princes in the last episode. We followed that with a 2-1 win against Tottenham, and then a 2-1 loss against Villa, and then a 3-3 draw against Chelsea, where Veghorst came on and in the 93rd minute got us an equaliser with a great header. So he still does have his uses. And then it's going to be PSG again today. And um, let me know how you're feeling about these one game per episode. Do you prefer it to be two games or just focus on the Champions League until we get into the... When we get into like, the knockout stages, then I'll probably do one game and then the league game and then the next lockout game in the in thing next episode. But yeah, let me know. Would you rather see go back to two episodes a game or have a bit more commentary of one game? That's uh, all for you to let me know. But we've been doing pretty well. Um... Let's go into the game. We'll do all the game planning here and stuff. So we know that they've got a strong team. Neymar and Bappi and Deli Ali all starting this time. Um, we haven't gone through our team yet. So let's go and have a look. Everybody's doing okay. Timothy Weir. Good bit. He's going to start just because of the chemistry. Because uh, it does, as I mentioned before, it makes such a big difference at this level to have good chemistry. But we are going to put Veghorst back on the bench. And I am going to put Tammy Abraham instead of Kimpembe on the bench as well. Uh, fitness hasn't been too much of an issue. We've actually been playing really well. Taliska scored a wonderful free kick um, in a previous game. He could come on to start there ahead of Dybala. I just think we've got to start Dybala really in this game. We could start Grealish. At least then he could cut in on his right foot and have a few shots. Yeah, let's give Grealish the nod. It's been a long time since we've seen Grealish on this channel. I know there will be a lot of you that will be keen to see him in here. Let's just check the strips to see. Four strips for PSG. Bloody hell. That's probably the most sensible one to use, the white one. Or we could put them in there. European away kit. Let's go for that. There's three for Villa as well. I think we're going to play in our black kit. We're going to go for a bit of a changed change system. Let's make sure... Uh, it's at the evening. It should be that. It's in winter, which is good. Pitch conditions are fine. Let's get the game underway. So welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Villa Park. It's Aston Villa versus PSG in the Champions League. And who would have thought, if you're a Villa fan, that this would happen in your lifetime? By welcoming the royal riches of Paris Saint-Germain to Villa Park. Two and Zabi leads the team out in their third kit. It gets a run out for sponsorship reasons today um they've got to be aware at enough times and psg wearing their european away kit all white with the silver stripe down the middle let's see how the game unfolds before that though we'll go into the lineups so here we go then paris saint germain looking to get revenge against aston villa who beat them at the park de princes 4-3 in an epic game about a week ago maybe two weeks ago now and aston villa are like this in a 4-2-4 sommer gaston v two and xavier retos tierney gundogan sabalos bale aguero weir and jack Grealish replaces dybala on the left hand side of the front four PSG, though, haven't stopped spending their money, and they line up with Deli Ali, the most expensive player in the game so far in central midfield. Ariola in goal, Mikel Tarr, Mina as a back three, Rabio, Verratti, Mbappe, Neymar, Ali, Cavani, and Lacazette. The names roll off the tongue. The game is about to get underway. Alexandre Lacazette enjoying a pretty fruitful loan spell at Aston Villa, which got him back into the PSG starting lineup. And the game gets underway. And it's all, hopefully, Aston Villa under cultured left foot, hoping that they can still propel forward and show that they're, they're here in this Champions League to stay and that they can prove the uh, do the English clubs proud. Not too many of the other ones performing very well in the tournament. And it's going to be touch and go if they get through. But early doors here. Neymar tries to put a ball in and PSG win an early corner and they're attacking from the off. Now, Aston Villa have got... Some tall players of their own, but Deli Ali, Edison Cavani and Lacazette all good in the air. That's a great ball in. Gareth Bale is back defending well and Sabalos gets it away up to Aguero. Aguero just holds on to the ball, looking to just take his time. Sees Jack Grealish giving him an option. Jack Grealish now comes forward. A rare start for the Aston Villa favourite and he just has a heavy touch and loses the ball and Retzos is caught out of position. Cavani looks to exploit it by getting in behind, but he's not the quickest and Tuan Zabi can catch up with him really well. And the ref was going to give a foul, but he's played advantage. Cavani keeps that in, and Gaston Reed gets ahead to it. He's settled in quite well, the right back for Aston Villa, doing his defensive duties well. And Gundogan there takes the ball um, away from Neymar. Timothy Weir holds onto it, sees the run of Gareth Bale, picks him out, who cuts inside Mina, gets a shot off on his left foot. But Adiola makes a good save for the French team. And uh, he's not hanging around and getting on with it. Great delivery out to Verratti. Neymar on the left-hand side for PSG. Comes forward, slowing it down, looking to try and tease someone in to get him. All he can do is give the ball to Ilkay Gundogan in the middle of the park, who then lays it out 
to Jack Grealish. Now Jack Grealish comes forward. Lovely skill to go around Rabio. Lays it in. Surely that's a foul from Deli Ali. But the ref says play on. Up to Cavani. Verratti has it. Out to Mbappe on the right hand side. Mbappe, Neymar, Cavani and Lacazette. What a front four that is for PSG. Obviously Aston Villa not lacking in talent themselves up front. With the likes of Gareth Bale, Jack Grealish, Dybala on the bench. Aguero who's on the ball now into Weir. Who lays it back to Gundogan. And Aston Villa... Have got big names of their own. They also haven't been afraid to splash the cash in recent seasons. That's a really poor pass by Kieran Tierney. It's put Gundogan in trouble. And Lacazette has fed it into Rabio, who gets his volley off. But not really famous for his shooting. Adrian Rabio more for his defensive tackling in uh, the middle of the park. But it was a good bit of play here. Great dink over the top from Lacazette. Rabio got in behind, but the shot was pretty wayward. Jan Sommer restarts. Just trying to dink a little goal kick into Aguero. Just about gets to him. Sabalos puts it into Weir. Weir waits for Sabalos. Gives him a nice back heel. Sabalos comes forward. Lays it into Aguero. Who jumps around the tackle from Mina. It's Gareth Bale on his left foot. Places it into the bottom corner. Only only in goal. Had absolutely no chance. And Gareth Bale gets the goal. And that is a superb finish from the Welshman. Lovely build up in the play. Timothy Weir using his strength to hold on to the ball here. Lovely back heel into Sabalos. Laid it off to Aguero. Aguero danced around the tackle of Mina. Into Gareth Bale. Neymar didn't track him. And it's 1-0 Aston Villa. And PSG get it back underway. Looking to maybe get an immediate response. As Retzos has to cover this run from Cavani. He's actually got through. And Sommer makes a very, very good save to hold on to that ball. And just bowls it out to Gaston Vieden. Aston Villa have now just got to keep their composure. They've been a bit guilty recently of throwing leads away. And wasting opportunities. And rushing the play when they really don't need to. So let's hope they can focus on just keeping the ball, keeping the possession. And again, doing their fans proud. This is going to be a very good Champions League campaign if they can keep it up. As uh, Weir is lo lost, loses out on the ball there. It was a great tackle from uh, one of the centre-backs. And that's a foul on Lacazette from Tuan Zabi. No more than that though. And uh, PSG win a free kick. So Yeri Mina looks to take it long towards Cavani. Draws Retzos out of his position. Gundogan's back there defending well. Retzos gets caught on the ball. It falls to Cavani. Gets a shot off. Oh my word. Edison Cavani with an absolute blue from range. What a finish. More known for his fox in the box style. Pulls out the rifle celebration. And Edison Cavani has scored an absolute wonder goal ladies and gentlemen. You are witnessing something spectacular here. As he celebrates with Mbappe and Deli Alley. What a finish from Cavani. He turned here, then was alive enough to the ball to get it off Retzos. And just one touch, bang. Jan Sommer was not placed correctly, thinking there wouldn't be a shot. And it's 1-1 here at Villa Park. And are we on for an absolutely storming game of football again between these two teams? Seven goals in the first game when they met. And already two here. And there is only 20 minutes gone. And Gareth Bale is coming forward with it again. He's got the acceleration to get away from Verratti. He's still going. He's got to the byline. Oh, Try to cut it back to Timothy. A great interception from the defence. As uh, Cavani then beats Sabalos in the air. Lays it up towards Lacassette. He puts it into Deli Alley. And uh, Aston Villa have got to have their defensive now about them. Cavani wins another header. He's clearly very up for this game. Mbappe comes forward. Looks to try and jink it round to Nzebi. Puts a shot in. And uh, that's easy for Sommer. And Sommer... What a delivery that is out to Gareth Bale. Can see him in lots of space. Timothy Weir looks to feed it in back to Gareth Bale. Takes a touch. Looks to get away from Mina. He's been causing him nightmares in this whole game. Weir back heel. Looking for Grealish. Grealish with a shot. Ariola makes a good save again. And it's end to end. Both keepers obviously been told to get on with it. And when they get the ball to hand and just get the game flowing. Get us up on the attacks. As both goalkeepers with great delivery. As Deli Alley now has a shot from range as well. And Jan Sommer has to pour that one away. Incredible game we have here at Villa Park. Corner to be taken by the Brazilian Neymar. Out swinger. He can go towards the tall Rabio And Cavani heads it on. But it's fallen there. And Tuan Zabi just has to get it away. Only as far as Verratti. Into Cavani. Lays it off. Deli Ali with a shot. Just the wrong side of the post. So it's sort of bouncing around here. A bit of head tennis from both teams. And Tuan Zabi's clearance was really poor. Verratti laid it back in. Cavani laid it off. And Ali came onto it from the edge of the area. But wasn't really troubling Jan Sommer with that shot. And uh, 25 minutes gone. And there is not many options on for Jan Sommer here. See if he can dink this in to Aguero again. He can't. It's very easy for Rabiot to intercept that one. And then pulls out a nice back heel that completely does Sabalos. Cavani's already scored one from range. He had another go. And uh, Gaston Veed got a good block in. And then laid it off up to Gundogan. Who goes up to Aguero. And 
Gareth Bale would have been in, but Yeri Mina pulls out a lovely bit of acrobatic play there to intercept the pass as Rabio then lays it out to Verratti. Fakes it on one more to Neymar. Lacazette looks to get in behind two and Zabi comes to meet him. It goes into Deli Ali. He's brought it down and Sommer comes out and bravely dives at his feet. And this time goes the other side towards Jack Grealish. Who heads that back into Grealish again towards Gundogan. Up it goes to Weir. Weir flicks it onto Kieran Tierney. who has been pretty quiet and is normally quite instrumental to the Aston Villa attacks. He's actually got in the way of his own team. And now he's been caught out of position as Lacazette holds on. Tries to feed in Cavani. But that will be very easy for Retzos to read. And gives it to Gaston Veed. To Nzebi. Up it goes to Bale. Into Gundogan. Gundogan is fouled there. And that should be a foul. And it is. And that could well be the first yellow card of the game for Marco Verratti. The referee calls him over. He gives him a little talking to. And I think he's very lucky there to not get a yellow card. That looked like a dangerous tackle. He flew in on Ilkay Gundogan here. The board gone a long time ago. And he's a very lucky boy to not get a yellow card there. So Aston Villa take the, the free kick short. Happy to just build up possession from the back it looks like. Gundogan. And they're not going to be able to build it up if they lose it that quickly though. Neymar back into Ali. Ali out to Mbappe, who haven't seen too much of in this game. He's had the one shot straight at Jan Sommer. Um, and he's beaten his man, Kieran Tierney, a couple of times down the wing. But hasn't really been involved too much in, in the play and in the build-up for PSG. And if they can change that, they're probably going to be a dangerous outfit. It's Cavani, clever dummy run to get past Retos. But Tierney was on hand to block it as Gundogan comes forward. Looks to lay it back into Retos. Up it goes to Grealish. Grealish now comes forward with it. Sees a lot of space he can run into. And he's still going. It's Jack Grealish. The PSG defence has opened up. He gets his shot off and it's just hit the back stanchion. Jack Grealish saw the space. Just carried on running. Just drove into that area. Got towards the edge of the box. A nice curling effort. But just past the post and hits the base of the back stanchion. Still 1-1. 10 minutes to go in the first half. As Adiola shoves his defence forward. Tells him to push on. Get up there. Let's try and push the Aston Villa defence back is what he's telling his team as Mbappe brings their knock down from Cavani. Really well down with a good first touch and now there's three on two here and Lacazette tried to feed it through but two and Xavier read it really well but then gives it away straight into Neymar. That's not the guy you want to give it to as Ali gets a shot off and this game is absolutely frantic and now there's a counter attack on straight down the other end. What a delivery that is from Jan Sommer again. Grealish has the pace to get away from Rabio. Lays it into Aguero. Can he turn? He's got Gareth Bale coming in again. Can he get his second goal of the game? He can. He toe pokes it into the same corner and he is absolutely delighted. The guy on loan from Real Madrid has two goals in the Champions League. Absolutely superb play here from Aguero. The where to know, the knowledge to know that Gareth Bale will be there and the toe poke was just too quick for Areola. And it is 2-1 Aston Villa. Well, it looks like we're in for a barnstorming game again. Neither team really caring about their defensive duties and just throwing men forward whenever they can. As now Lacazette plays it into Deli Alley. Back to Lacazette again. Up to Arabio. Deli Alley round the corner looking to spin in behind. And uh, Gaston V does well to beat Neymar in the air. And Aguero is already making that run through the middle. Aguero flicks it on looking for Weir. Timothy Weir trying to get another goal against his former club. I just couldn't get enough on it. And it was very good defending in the end. Uh, but this three at the back from uh, PSG is being exploited a hell of a lot by the wing play of Aston Villa. And that's a lovely ball in. Lacazette tries to feed it in. Retzos covers it well. And the composure to play out from the back there is absolutely superb. But that is a woeful pass in the middle from Savalos As Cavani knocks that down to Mbappe. Who tries to feed him through again. Tierney reads it. And then just goes back to Jan Sommer sensibly. Jan Sommer out to Tuan Zabi who... Wasn't expecting that pass. But luckily, Aston Villa get away with it. Gaston Veed up to Aguero. Into Weir. Aguero's gone again. And he's had the pace to get away from his marker. Yerimino. It's Sergio Aguero. That is an absolutely horrible finish. Bale looks to cross it in on his right foot towards Weir. And Ariola makes a fantastic save to hold on to it. And then, again, just gets the game straight underway. But that is the half-time whistle. Aston Villa could have had a third just before half-time there. But PSG... Thing and thank their goalkeeper Ariola. A very even game, to be honest. Two Shells team performing well in the game, but haven't had enough to get through Jan Sommer more than once. And uh, there's going to be no changes for Aston Villa at the half time mark. Are there going to be any? There's no PSG changes either. And it looks like they're sticking with the three at the back formation, which seems to be playing into Aston Villa's hands. You would have thought a manager of Two Shells ability would have made some changes tactically at half time, but it doesn't appear to. 
Um, I think two have been done like that as Deli Ali put under pressure but manages to get his ball back to Lacazette and they go out towards Neymar who again has been kept pretty quiet that's a lovely turn to create some space though as the ball comes in from Ali it reaches Sabalos who can only find the feet of Rabiot but Deli Ali's caught on the ball yet again Sabalos looks to dink this one into some space for Gareth Bale we haven't seen Aston Villa play that ball over the top too much and that's probably the reason why they didn't really look comfortable doing it like that but uh, it's now back with PSG, who are trying to play this out from the back, and they've done pretty well. Rabiot. Neymar on the left-hand side of the pitch. Looks to have just gotten a bit of space away from his man marker. But uh, Deli Ali flicks it out to Mbappe. Again, has a very quiet... Oh, Tierney lunges in, and that is a dangerous tackle. And again, he's going to be very lucky to get away with not getting a yellow card. But PSG take it quickly, and Mbappe is tackled very well this time by Kian Tierney and this could launch a good counter-attack now Jack Grealish good turn on the ball Timothy Weir nice back heel into Sabalos here comes Aguero lays it back into the path of Sabalos around to Timothy Weir Timothy Weir holds on Sabalos into Grealish Jack Grealish shows a bit of space waits for the run of Tierney Tierney sees the run of Aguero in the middle but Deli Ali doing his defensive duties really well Tierney lays it off Gundogan chips it in towards Aguero it's a bit of a fanciful chip I think for Aguero versus Yeri Mina only ever going to be one winner in that battle. PSG making their first sub. Deli Ali off and Julian Draxler comes on. But Gareth Bale does stand over the corner piece. Corner piece? Corner set piece. Jack Grealish beats Nkuku in the air. And then it's uh, Rabio that gets it away towards Cavani. And PSG hold on at the back and actually play it out very well to Gareth, uh, uh, Gareth Bale. No, he's in Aston Villa's colours. To Mbappe, who then goes back and... PSG now just having a bit of a breather, getting their breath back, trying to move the ball around and get Aston Villa out of their defensive shape, which they have done there. But Cavani was offside, and it's a very good defensive line from Aston Villa. And there it is, a good foot or so offside, uh, no doubt in the linesman's mind, as uh, it's going to be Jack Grealish to go take this, or to receive the ball from Retzos up the line, and he turns. Lots of space to run into. Looks to turn away from Rabio with a good bit of skill. Jack Grealish having a great game for Aston Villa today. Pulling out skills and beating his man constantly. Gaston Vide looks to fire this into the box towards Weir. Weir knocks it down for Aguero, but Jonathan Tarr is there to get in the way of it. And Aston Villa looking like they're not too bad on the energy front. Looking like they're going to keep this press up that they're playing. Um, and maybe look to make some subs later in the game as Sabalos picks out a wonderful ball to Grealish. Who flicks it into Weir, who looks to turn away. Can he shift away from his marker? No, he can't. Rabio got back to help out defensively. Cavani flicks that round the corner into Lacazette. And now it's Neymar. Neymar coming forward. And he's what a ball that is into Lacazette's path. He gets an early shot and Sommer touches it round the post. As Aston Villa make their first substitution of the game. Timothy Weir is uh, not at the best of games today. He's replaced by Veghorst for a bit more of a physical presence up front for Aston Villa. As Tuanzebi does well to win that header. Gareth Bale just looked to flick this one. But it's come down to Mbappe. And yeah, and Sommer makes a good save and then gets this away. And goes up towards Aguero who can't turn with the ball. Yeri Mina right on him. As soon as he went to receive that ball, Lacazette flicks it around the corner, Draxler with a shot, and Sommer then catches it, and again, PSG are just throwing men forward now, and it's leaving them completely open, Gareth Bale goes for the big switch of play, and Ariello's come a long way, and he's had to get his foot to it, and he's out of goal, and Tierney's had a, a, a wonderful effort, oh, Kieran Tierney from around about the halfway line, a right-footed volley, very unlucky for the Scots player, and uh, it's still 2-1 Aston Villa, 65 minutes gone, in the game and uh, RPSG running out of ideas can they they just can't seem to cope with the Aston Villa attackers uh, Gareth Bale is on a hat trick once again but uh, Ariola will get this one clear and Cavani is being dominated in the air by Retzos Retzos learning from the first game against PSG where Cavani was winning absolutely everything but Lacazette tries to play him in just gets the pass a bit wrong Grealish lays it into Sabalos Sabalos comes forward with it Got lots of time and space to come forward. It's still Sabalos. Looks to turn away. Lovely bit of skill. Can he flick this into Grealish? He does. Grealish puts it in just behind Veghorst. And now um, Neymar flicks it on, but it only falls to Gaston Veed. And Gareth Bale will find himself. He's got a bit of time to pick out a good cross. It's blocked. It goes behind for a corner. Second substitution for Aston Villa. Another change of striker. It's um, Aguero off and Dybala comes on not a bad substitute to be able to bring on in these circumstances is Dybala and that goes in towards Veghorst who wins the header couldn't get enough on it though very tightly marked by Jonathan Tarr who put him off nicely but that's a really poor throw out from Mariola as uh, Jack Grealish tries to put it in Veghorst has pounced on the defensive confusion and Veghorst dinks it in looking for Bale Bale wins the header 
but it can only head it into Yerry Mina, who then puts it behind for a corner. And Aston Villa playing very, very well here. As, uh, again, runners come towards him. He completely ignores them, puts them in the box. And why wouldn't you when you've got the likes of Tu and Zabi and Veghorst in there challenging for the header? Lacazette will bring this one away. And he's actually used a good bit of footwork to get away from his marker. Cavani takes a good touch on the chest, but his pass is ricocheting around. Out to Rabio, Rabio to Lacazette. Lacazette comes forward, but under pressure by Gaston Veed. And then Rabio gets it again. Tierney with a great tackle. Well out of his left-back defensive position, but defended it well. And Aguero, that's an absolutely awful pass. Trying to get Gundogan into the play. Mbappe takes a heavy touch, which is pounced upon by Ilkay Gundogan. It goes up towards Jack Grealish, who, as mentioned, is having an absolutely superb game on this left-hand side. Maybe it's going to be a new favoured position for him in this game. Grealish keeps going. Looks to put it into a course with a good header. And Ariola makes the save again. I think it may have been going wide, but the goalkeeper wasn't to know and held on well. Didn't parry it out as Cavani is going to look to spin him behind, but he gives the ball off to Lacazette. Julian Draxler into Mbappe. Mbappe comes forward. Great tackle again from Tierney. And this defensive unit from Aston Villa has been absolutely superb as Veghorst flicks it over the top. And Jack Grealish could be in if he gets a good first touch. His first touch slowed him down a little bit, but he's still got the pace to get away. Jack Grealish looks to bend it in the far corner and has... What a goal! The Villa legend has got his first goal in the Champions League this year. Jack Grealish with a wonderful, wonderful goal. And Aston Villa have just been playing the counter-attack absolutely superbly today. Jack Grealish got on it here, had the pace to get away from the defender and then curled it lovely into the far corner. And then he ran off to get bundled by his teammates and here he was, Jack Grealish. His first touch was a little bit poor, not really into his path. But he had enough acceleration to get away from the defender, put it onto his favoured right foot and tuck it into the corner. And what a finish from Jack Grealish. It is 3-1 Aston Villa. An absolutely incredible performance from the villains in front of their home fans. Now they just need to play it sensible and hold on. But I'm sure PSG are going to chuck absolutely everything at them with 10 minutes to go in this game. Their win here could possibly see Aston Villa already qualify from the group depending on other results. So PSG really have to put the pressure on as Cavani plays it into the substitute Mares, who lays it back towards Draxler. Goes out to Neymar who's been kept very quiet by Gaston Veed and Gaston Veed yeah, thought he could get the ball but didn't. Dove in and really didn't get it as uh, Aston Villa make a substitution. Their third and final substitution. Uh, Vincent Wanyama coming on to replace Ilkay Gundogan. And uh, Victor Wanyama, sorry, not Vincent. Victor Wanyama comes on. A bit more steel in the central midfield. Number seven for Aston Villa will sit in there and uh, hopefully give the defence a little bit of solidarity to hold on to this 2-0 lead with 10 minutes to go. Mahrez wins the header. Jan Sommer easily catches that one, though. And again, straight away, looks for the clearance. But Veghorst has caught on his toes a little bit. Retos with a good challenge. Looks to put it into Jack Grealish, who is... Maybe just starting to tire a little bit. He's made some good lung-busting runs up that left wing as Cavani gets in. He has a shot off and Jan Sommer with another flying save. And PSG are just leaving themselves so open at the back as they chuck men forward trying to get onto this. Gaston V looks to lay it into a grow. Knocks it off to Gareth Bale. Still looking for that hat-trick. Lays this one off to Dybala. Dybala goes into Veghorst. Veghorst looks to turn away and gets it onto his left foot. But what a tackle that is from Celso as Veghorst is lining up a power shot. As uh, Mbappe now gets it away, Cavani looks to give it into Mares. Mares playing in a central striker role, replacing Lacazette. As uh, Cavani turns with the ball and just uses a bit of score. Oh, it's a really heavy touch from the Uruguayan though. And Tierney managed to get in and make a tackle. And here is Neymar to lay this in field. Gets it into Cavani. Sommer with a good touch. He's been very good in goal for Aston Villa today. And that's a really poor clearance though. As uh, Mbappe picks it up, gets a shot off. It hits his own man who's offside in Edson Cavani. And uh, Jan Sommer will be breathing a huge sigh of relief for that because his poor kick led to that moment. Jan Sommer takes the kick long, looking towards Sabalos, but Mbappe reads it, feeds it up to Cavani, who just managed to knock it past Tierney, but Tierney does get a block on it eventually. Sabalos into Veghorst, back to Wanyama. Wanyama to Gaston Veed. Sensible football this from Villa, keeping the ball, just trying to create a little bit of space as they're complaining they didn't get a free kick, but the referee has... Probably played a pretty good advantage in the situation because Aston Villa kept the ball and kept possession. And uh, will probably be a bit annoyed that, you know, they couldn't do more with it as Neymar on the right-hand side. Again, being, being kept so quiet in today's game. As now Aston Villa just look to pass it around the back four. Keep the ball, keep it nice and sensible. And uh, 
There's literally only injury time left for another very famous victory in this performance. And there could even be another goal as Dybala's in. Takes his shot early. Great save from Areola to save PSG's blushes. And it would be a humiliating loss to lose to Aston Villa 4-1 as PSG. As that ball goes forward, Neymar flicks it infield towards Draxler. Looks to put Edson Cavani in. Jan Sommer's quick off his line. Cavani dinks it over him and the scoreline isn't going to look too bad after all. 3-2. Only one goal in it, but that should then be the end of the game. And it is. And with those celebrations, Aston Villa qualify from the group stages of the Champions League into the knockouts. How far can this team go? What a performance. What a result. To beat PSG twice is incredible. A draw Atletico Madrid beating Sporting Lisbon and beating PSG twice has seen them through. And there's still two games to go. Sporting Lisbon beating Atletico Madrid has confirmed Aston Villa going through. And this is a monumental run in the Champions League that Aston Villa are going on at the moment. And wow, what a performance. Thank you so much for watching, guys. For now, I'm out. Cheers.